Hello once again everybody for to Smirking Gun Reviews. Welcome back. This is Rob and we're doing Preacher Season 3 Episode 5 The Coffin. So if you have not seen the episode feel free to go watch it and come on back and watch me. I uh, give my little two cents about it. Uh, this will be full of spoilers that's why. Uh, so let's just do it. Let's hit it. Let's make it to the point. This is a fucking hilarious episode. Uh, right from the very get go. The the crazy brawl between TC, Jody, Tulip, and Jesse is fantastic. Um, the you know the the whole waiting for them to burst through the door and just have it you know TC sneaking down and just get you know let's just get this started and then playing Werewolves of London. Uh, Jesse's fight, you know, like, man, he can really take punches from him and Jody. really, like, I love watching those two just pound on each other. It's like a wrestling match, uh, and, and like, MMA and stuff. Uh, Tulip, on the other hand, and TC's fight is way more funny because Tulip just is such a badass. TC really doesn't have a chance. He's just a nut job. Um, and just the whole, just... Like the whole fight thing where she shoots, you know, sprays him with the the stuff, and he's like, "Oh, hey, found weaponry!" And he makes this crazy blowtorch, and she just like takes the little, uh, like I I thing, and like a toothbrush, and kicks him and knocks him out. Uh, it, it's just a great way to start the episode. High energy, total hilariousness, total great ass preacher, total badass tulip. It's just so much fun. Um, we have Cassidy, uh, trying to hook up <laughs> and find a vampire, uh, on his phone, uh, in New Orleans. He's got the horse, tra the elephant tranquilizers. Damn. Um, <laughs> I guess, uh, vampire immune system, or, you know, his, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Metabolism must be way different than ours. Um. Maybe it's because he can't die no matter what he takes. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's great. I, and, you know, in this world where we have people that, that are called furries that dress up as stuffed animals and shit. Yeah, of course, there would be a group of people that uh, worship vampires um, or want to be, you know, vampires that have, you know, create little scenarios to pretend until they actually meet one, uh, which is great. Um that this girl just, you know, I was kind of convinced she was. I mean, in this in this show, it's not out of the realm of impossibility that, that you know, he'd meet and you know, there's other vampires around, so eventually we would meet one. Unfortunately, this girl is not it, um, and <laughs> it's nice of Cass to not have to, not actually rip her throat out. It shows his character that he's he's a good vampire. Um, the whole thing with. Hair Star and the All Father and Humperdew. <sighs> Soft shoe, Jesus Christ, man, that scene was hilarious. Uh, I still don't know like what their plans for this Humper. I mean, how? <laughs> I don't know how they plan on passing this just mental defective as anything more than that. Um, I don't know, maybe I've seen stupider things in the world. Uh, the All-Father. Ugh. Um, just, I, I, I guess I should, you know, like the, the portrayal of a, a high-standing religious leader as kind of a just big, fat, slob, job of the head kind of guy. Yeah, I can go, I can, get, I can definitely get behind that uh, as far as, like, what I actually think of this kind of person. But it is gross. It's just gross. He's just greasy and odd, and you can't really tell if he's being serious or not. Like, um, does he really think that they can roll out Humperdue? Uh, but, you know, I don't know. Uh, I like that uh, this leads them to, you know, they don't want to, they can't go through with this. They got to find a better plan. At least Hair Star does. And that's where uh, Featherstone comes up with the idea, you know, we'll, we'll stake out Cassidy and we'll take him hostage, we'll get him, you know, to, to you know, we'll get Jesse back and we'll get rid of this Humperdue thing. Um, I don't know why they don't just go 
renegotiate with Jesse, but that's fine. So Cass passes out from the elephant tranquilizers. They take him hostage. The scene with Cassidy, out of just out of it, trying to read the note is fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> he's like, it's like he's supposed to say the word Jeopardy, but he's saying Jeopardy. He's like, I don't even think that's a word, man. Like, <laughs> it's just great. That guy, uh, he is such a good actor, and and he is looking more and more like the comic book version of the character every episode. Um, but they get attacked and they take Cassidy somebody takes Cassidy and it is that girl uh, that wanted to be a vampire um, brings her brings Cassidy to her little I don't know like what is he what do you have like a little play you know play pretend uh, kind of like the uh, people who do uh, the medieval stuff out in the woods. I can't remember what that's, LARPing or something like that. Yeah, except for vampires. Uh, God, this this world is fucking absurd, but in the best possible way. It's so preacher to have all this. And in fact, it's getting, this was one of the most cartoony, comic booky episodes they've ever, ever had. Um, speaking of comic booky, Jesse in the Coffin with John Wayne that is straight from the comics. And it was, I, I, you know, I thought that they were, I, it had been long enough, I, I didn't know if they were ever gonna put him in it, but they found a way to bring John Wayne in. This is his coping mechanism. This is what helps him through things. Um, his kind of like spirit guide uh, in the comic. And so it was done really well. It was hilarious. It's something I've been waiting for for a really long time. Um, the whole thing with him trying to get out of the coffin was just a really clever uh, gag that, you know, you know he's getting out somehow. Uh, but that was a pretty, pretty unique and clever way of doing it. Uh, Tulip, in the meantime, uh, her whole thing of trying to get out of the, the handcuffs and everything is hilarious as well. Uh, just playing with these people. She's so much smarter than them. But Jody and all in TC, they, while they may just be, you know, you think they're just complete dumb trash hillbilly fuckers, there are, there is some, you know, slightness to them as well, and that's kind of interesting that they to play off of tulip smartness too. The whole thing with uh, Granny Langell and TC, that, that was that was something. It was so weird and gross. Um, when she does take the wig off, she does look a lot more like the comic book version of her. Um, except that she does have to seem, you know, I don't know how much is hiding underneath that dress, but if she's a lot skinnier and without that, we've always seen her with like kind of big clothes on, but the comic book version, she's very gaunt. Um, but what I love here, you know, we, we, we have it confirmed that yeah, if Granny dies, Tulip dies. And that was Madame Boyd's plan all along. So, yes, when Tulip does get the drop on Jody, locking him up, knocking out TC, you know, and killing Granny Langell, she instantly dies. And now we, they have to bring her back. So how they're going to eventually get out of this is beyond me. Um, cause now they got to feed her a soul because with the, if she dies, Tulip dies. Um, and I love that whole, you know, like they just gang, <laughs> they just dogpile on each other at the end, which is just, this was really a fun, fun, fun episode. Um, going forward, I really don't know how they're going to handle getting out of this. Um, but, uh, I, I can't wait to find out how they pull this off. It's going to be fucking amazing. Uh, I have not seen the trailer for next week, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, there's less than 10 minutes of an episode review. I don't think I did that bad. And seeing as how about 20 of you watch these, thank you, by the way, the 20 of you that do. Because <laughs> I do love watching it. I do love talking about it. Um, so if you did like this video, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share. Hit the bell if you want to get more notifications on all my videos. So that's about it. If this is all the videos you watch, uh, we've got more Preacher coming uh, next week. We've got Sharp Objects, Comic Reviews, and more coming.
I haven't decided what. Oh, we got Man in the High Castle as well. Sorry. So, anyway, this is Robert Smirking Reviews saying have a great night, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.